What's up, Greater Centennial? I'm so excited about today because today we celebrate the pastoral ministry of our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Stephen W. Pogue, as he celebrates six years of being the shepherd of this house at Greater Centennial. Listen, he's a preaching savant, he's a pastor, a community organizer, and he's even a prolific singer. Let's take a trip down memory lane. I want to use for a subject this morning. So much to thank God for part four. So much to thank God for part four. I'm grateful and humble to be able to stand here as the pastor of Greater Centennial African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. It was almost three years ago to this day that I stood in this pulpit for the first time as pastor of this great congregation. It was November 18th, 2012, that I stood here nervous, afraid, and anxious, knees shaking about what this new journey that God had me on uh, and he placed me on, uh, what it was going to do in my life and the lives of those he had just placed in my hand. It was on that day that I lifted up this scripture and this title, and as I enter our fourth year together, I want to once again, as I've done every year since that time, revisit this text and this title so much to thank God for part four it is it is at this time each year here at Greater Centennial that I'm reminded of the first sermon that I preached here as pastor it was November 18 2012 when I stood behind this sacred desk as the pastor for the first time and reminded us then that we have so much to thank God for that was part one and even after Tuesday I still believe and know that we have so much to thank God for. As I offer you this, my fifth installment of this once a year sermon series, you got to tune in to next year for part six. I'm reminded that although everything has not been rosy and although we've had some hills we've had to climb, I will still say we have so much to thank God for. I know we've lost some soldiers along the way this past year. We lost Dorian Day, Belanda Furtick, Carl Green, James Rufus. We lost Clara May uh, McLaren. We lost Jacqueline Moody, John Ramsey, Mary Samilton. We lost Patricia Streeter, Roxanne Wheatley, Stuart Walsh, and we can never forget Melusina Reberg. And yes, we've lost some soldiers on the battlefield of the Lord, but even still, we have so much to thank God for because even as we've lost some, God has continued to add to the number here at Greater Centennial. And even with tears in our eyes, we can still say and declare without a doubt that we have so much to thank God for. Well, five years ago yesterday that I stood behind this sacred desk for the first time as the pastor of the Greater Centennial African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. It was after the elevation of the Right Reverend W. Darren Moore that the late Right Reverend Roy Anderson Holmes saw fit between him and God to send me here to pastor this great congregation. For the past five years, we have journeyed together, Greater Centennial, through ups and downs and ins and outs, good days and bad days. But through it all, we can still say we have so much to thank God for. Oh, I use this opportunity every year to pause and reflect because I believe each of us should take a time out in our lives to pause and reflect on where God has brought us from. Each and every one of us should pause every once in a while and take a look back over your life and see where God has brought you from. And when you see where God has brought you from, you too will have so much to thank God for. You Reverend Dr. Stephen Pogue, I've got so much to thank God for. Thank you, sir, for your service to all of us here at Greater Centennial Mount Vernon and the New York family. We thank you for how you continue to keep your hand and watching over us and continue to speak into our lives. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule, out of your heart for pastors such as myself that we can come and lean upon you and ask you for your guidance and your wisdom. We thank God that he continues to smile upon you, that he continues to protect you. We ask that he would continue to watch over you and your family as your family shares you with us. May God continue to be with you in this ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. 
Are you excited? I'm excitedly happy glad. <laughs> I am so happy, glad for our pastor. Yes, he's still my pastor, the Reverend Dr. Stephen W. Pogue on this sixth year anniversary at Greater Centennial. I am happy, glad because he has thrown me out of the coop. <laughs> And now my wings have extended and I'm beginning to soar. I am so grateful for this, your pastor, my pastor, this man of God who has taught me so much over the years here at Greater Centennial, especially about uh, ministry, especially about be being a pastor. I am using some of that knowledge right now where I'm at and it has been a blessing to the people. And so, Pastor Pogue, I just want to wish you a happy, happy, happy anniversary, and I am happy glad for you. <laughs> Hello, Reverend Dr. Stephen W. Poe. I am happy glad to be here to share with you my love, my support, and my continued blessings on the ministry and that you started here at Greater Centennial six years ago. Oh my God, God bless you. We, as a congregation, came together to welcome you. And since that moment, we have just had so much to thank God for. So once again, let me tell you from my own heart and from my own experience, how much you have meant to this brother, how much you have done in the life of this brother, and how much I thank you. Well, church family, as you can see, it has been an eventful six years, and we're believing God for many, many more. Pastor, we love you. We honor you as the vision and the visionary of this church, and we cannot wait to see what God will do through you here at Greater Centennial. Everybody all over the sanctuary, let's give our pastor a round of applause and honor him for being the shepherd of this house. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear pastor. Happy anniversary to you. Happy sixth anniversary, pastor.